All right, down at the beach here, interrupting the fanatic shooting, grabbing Arthur, Arthur Rutkin here real quick for a quick little interview. Arthur, um, how's Maui so far? Yeah, it's been doing good. Uh, yeah. A bit of cloud today, but yeah, super happy to be here. Nice, you come here quite a bit, always for photo shoots yeah. and everything. Uh, let me ask, just jump in to write the SUP racing. There's so much going on in SUP racing. We look at very busy 2022 season. Um, what's your uh, priorities? Yeah, hopefully a lot of races and uh, hopefully uh, more APPs this year. It was a bit more quiet late uh, last few years, so uh, hopefully we're, we're back on those. Okay, APP tour, so you're going to follow the entire tour. Yeah. Anything in Europe, Euro tour or yeah, other kind of... Yeah, I mean, I'm also doing some uh, windsurf event. I've been uh, okay. in Cape Verde doing the, the first event of the World Cup uh, in uh, February. So, yeah, depending on the... On those event as well, I'll try to to see what uh, what I'm free for. Okay, well, right. I keep forgetting you're not only SCP, you're yeah. also windsurfing a lot. Yeah. What about the wing? Have you done any wing competition yeah, non, yet? Not competition, but I wing uh, I wing do yeah. subfoiling as well. Yeah. Do you want to do competition? Depending on the <laughs> on the schedule. Again, Depending I mean, on the schedule. Busy, so yeah. yeah. But yeah. If, if I happen to have uh, some free time and. And I can do one, yeah, I would love to do one. Okay, to try. okay, okay. Now, of course, um, are we going to see you any other races in the States? Maybe Gorge Carolina Cup is coming up. Are you going to be there? No, I won't, uh, I won't be there. I think uh, uh, for the Gorge, I will have a windsurf event, I think, in okay. Fiji. And, uh, and uh, yeah, Carolina will be uh, on my way back home after the, the shoot. Okay, ISA maybe, uh, Puerto Rico, Yeah, I don't, Team I, France maybe? It's too far away. It's too, too far away. <laughs> okay, this guy doesn't plan yeah. all that far out. Um, quick little athletic word from um, Canoe Federation. Uh, did you watch what's, what was going on with uh, the World Championship and how the Canoe Federation is making a big uh, move into the sub-world? I, 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 I mean, I heard about it, but I didn't, uh, I didn't like really uh, look uh, yeah. deep into it you know I, I i saw they were doing some stuff and uh, but i i don't have any uh, any uh, gotcha yeah, gotcha any sorry about that <laughs> gotcha so you're bouncing between definitely seems to be bouncing between windsurfing and scp yeah 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 it's already a super busy so i just yeah try to not uh, like plan too much and uh, gotcha. and just like depending on where where i'm at you know i try to to see uh, Obviously, like the, the the big one, like the APP and the, and the PWA on windsurf, I try to to focus on those, okay. those the competition. But the rest of, of the competition, I just see like if it fits, uh, yeah, my, it fits. yeah, it okay. fits in okay. the calendar where I'm at, and uh, and sometimes I have other events gotcha. I have to attend to. So. 2022 is going to be a very very busy sub season, and we have so many world champion titles coming up. We have so many tours coming up what is your vision for the sport like how do you see the future of SUP finally uh, com coming uh, coming together we have ISA world champion we have an ICF world champion we have an APP world champion we have a Euro tour winner and uh, then we have a sub world ranking system what's your thoughts like we've been doing this for 10 years you've been in this racing for how many years? Ten years? Just about yes. as long. As, yeah, like for about as long as I have. And what's your thoughts on that? For looking back the last ten years, and, and how do you? Yeah, give us a little bit of an insight on what do you think about this? Yeah, I mean, I mean, in other sports it's similar, but just uh, we just don't talk uh, as much about it, you know, because in uh, in in surfing there is a ISA World Championship too. In in windsurf, we have a world championship too, like a federal one, like the IS, like the equivalent of the ISA. But uh, I mean, usually people don't really uh, like it's there, but people don't really focus on it. It's more like the PWA for us in uh -huh. windsurf, so that would be the equivalent of the ATP. So that's why I try to focus on that one because I mean, to me, that's that's what it is in windsurfing, and I grew up with uh, that system, and I just like stick to that system. And for me, like it's uh, the one. Like it's the decision made by the athlete, athlete, you know, to to uh, to make a world championship. So to me, it was uh, the most. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a whole tour, you know. It's just like one, not one event and everything. It's a whole whole okay. year event, and I mean, and I mean, I, I like it, and uh, and 
Yeah, yeah I like as well the fact that there is uh, more than just. Yeah. This is so loud. Okay. Well, sorry guys, but there is just you know we'll, we'll just can't try to edit this out. But yeah, so just to recap, for you are comparing this in windsurfing, the APP is kind of the WPA. PWA. Oh, excuse me, PWA. Uh, in surfing, we would be looking at the WSL, yeah. so a private kind of organization yeah. uh, that has the best paddlers, and that's kind of like like your focus. Yeah, that's kind of my focus, and yeah, because I grew up, I guess, with windsurfing, and that's well, the system was similar, so I kind of get into this. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's a bit difficult to to understand every year with all those different ones. But mm -hmm. to me, I rather have like yeah, like a world champion with different event, different yeah, kind of position, yeah. instead of having uh, just one one event, you know, with a world one champion. I mean, yeah. some people like it, but but to me, I, I rather have the, the whole year of yeah. competition and uh, a world champion at the end of the year. Yeah, that, that makes the most sense. And then basically just kind of like focus on one tour. Yeah. And uh, But then it doesn't bother you to say like you're the world champion in the ATP tour. And then somebody else comes like, yeah, but I'm the world champion with the ISA. And the other one comes like, well, but I'm the world champion with the ICF. You don't feel like you work hard for one tour and... I mean... It doesn't bother you at it all? It doesn't bother me. Okay. But I understand That's good. that uh, it might be complicated for other people to understand what's going on and uh, and and yeah me I think stand-up battle to me it's just uh, not just one kind of event you know not just yeah. like flat water or not just uh, one thing you know mm -hmm. it's, it always has been uh, going in the wave going yeah. in the flat water like every every aspect every aspect yeah, of yeah, it, yeah. you know and I don't want to I think by limited the sport to just one type of condition we are losing a bit of diversity and yeah. entertainment kind of you know. yeah. And hey, have, uh, yeah I totally like that maybe we are all too worried about what's going on maybe do it more like Arthur <laughs> just don't worry just who cares you know there is uh, you do one tour or, one or the other and then it really doesn't matter maybe we're just all too caught up in everything and maybe we just say like yeah let's just go out and have fun and do yeah. one tour and then everything else who cares yeah. Very cool. Thank you so much, Arthur. So that's a quick little update here, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Thank you. Claudia, merci bien.